Employment rate is at its lowest in years, but that does not mean that it's, you know, necessarily easier to get a job. So to grab maybe a hiring manager's attention, some people are getting a little dishonest on their application. According to Hire Rights 2017 Employment Screening Report, 85% of employers caught people who lied on their resume or their applications. That's up from 66% back in 2012. So, well, why would you lie? And what can you do to get a hiring manager's attention with out, you know, fudging a little bit on the truth. Joining us now is uh, Matthew uh, Raya from uh, Robert Half. Matthew, good to see you. Good morning. Did I pronounce your last name right? I want to make sure I get that right. Close enough, Reha. Yeah. Close enough for Jess. Thank you. All right. Why do people you know, lie on their resume? I mean, I guess when you first are looking for a job, you don't have any kind of experience. You might fudge a little bit or ex exaggerate. Exaggerate. Yeah, I would say um, most of the reasons why individuals elaborate on their resume is due to the competitive job market. They want every employer to see them as a viable candidate. So whether it is stretching the years of employment they have at a specific employer or elaborating the experience that they've had in a specific role. Mm -hmm. We do see that happening more and more um, as this job market tightens up. You know, it's a lot easier, though, to get busted nowadays. Everything's out there on the web. So, I mean, all you got to do is just do a quick search. And we just found out you did not actually get that degree from, you know, uh, Duke University, Bob Fryer. And uh, so I'm afraid you're not going to be employed here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can just yeah. easily do a search. Correct. And, yeah. and that is something that we do tell um, all of our candidates that we work with uh, at our company, at Robert Half, is eventually it will come out of the wash, whether it is through a thorough reference check, through a background check it will come out at the end of the day okay well if you're bound and determined to lie how can you get away with it what are some of the red flags that you might want to avoid sure so I would avoid stretching the years of employment okay. that you have listed I would also avoid elaborating the tasks in which you um, worked in I would be honest with what you've done and also make sure to highlight all of your accomplishments front and center okay but also make sure that your resume is streamlined um, the more information you have packed in in a paragraph form the lazier and the harder it is for our recruiters to get through it so I suggest to bullet point your resume keep it as it's always been, I go by if it isn't broke, why fix it? Right, okay, so that's what you're saying. If you really want to stand out, it's not even so much what's on the way, because you could have two side-by-side -side resumes, and one's just jam-packed and doesn't look great, and one is easier to read. You can see what everybody's got on there, mm -hmm. and that one's going to stand out. Yes, Okay. exactly. Okay, all right, well, it was great to, uh, great to get all that experience and get, get that information. If people want more information on how they can stand out, how can they get in touch with you guys? They can reach us at www office team.com. All right, Matthew, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.